Thanks for listening to Board While Driving. Today, me and Armin talk about WWE, comedy, stand-up. Yeah. How at your boy, little arm. No. You gotta redo that. But, um, yeah. Listen to this. It's gonna be a good one. I get super high and say some weird shit that I don't remember most of. But after listening to it. We did get super high. We, yeah. <laughs> we smoked that fucking. But it's a real thing. Cabby about the, under, the Undertaker stuff is. It's good. It's good shit. And uh, you guys go to www.boardwalldriving.com where you can get all the fucking links and shit. Uh, go to our Instagram at boardwalldriving and at cashfunnygang. Uh, Twitter at BWD Podcasts. And uh, we're on all the major podcast networks. Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, etc., etc. Uh, thanks again for listening, and uh, let's do it. And, uh, what's uh, on the? <laughs> I was telling Bianca, I'm like, yo, I haven't seen. Uh... What was that movie? Was oh, Blade Runner twenty fifty nine or whatever it's called. Uh-huh. I guess you guys, is that the one with Ryan Gosling? I'm like, yeah. It's like, yeah, I seen it. I'm like. You know, it should, like, give you a warning before the movie starts how long the movie is. Because, unknowingly, I'm sitting there watching, I'm like, ah, this, like, the end should be coming very shortly. <laughs> but no, it didn't. It didn't. A whole extra it's hour. It's just Ryan Gosling walking very slow all the time. <laughs> yes, it's for cinematic purposes we know that i knew i was like okay, the whole time you were asking questions was like oh he's not appreciating any of this i i was but in a way where it's like okay it's so good it's like i really just want to know who the stupid fucking child is and why do these things grow like age uh if they're not real oh they're like synthetic people yeah they're synthetic people it's not the the point isn't for them to, you know, automate real people's lives. Their point is to, li- is, you know, is to be alive. But then they die on their own, so why? It's why a, do they have to go? Have you seen the first one? Older models they have to get rid of them. Have you seen the first one? <coughs> yeah. I mean, my like memory of it is very weak, <laughs> right? I wonder. <coughs> I've seen the first one like three, four times too. So. <coughs> I am aware of the story. Like, they're more enhanced human beings. I understand that. Yeah. And I think, like, each person has, like, a different type of enhancement. I'm happy I found found a formula, though. I can repeat this formula forever. Stupid one-liner. Rant. Stupid (coughs) one-liner. For a three minute bit, I mean, I can, I'm, I'm not going to even change much of the story. What's safe to talk about? Is the, is the one liner part of your story? Whatever the one liner is, it doesn't matter as long as it's funny and uh, hopefully. I mean, I feel like Rogan does that. Like in his story, he throws in one liners. Or like short, yeah, yeah, that too. But just well, I I could just all right now. Him. All I'm thinking about is I get. Three I just minutes. call them punchlines. I'm thinking about it is like I get three minutes. So it's like how what do I want to talk about and how long can I get to talk about it? And if I can do a one liner right off the bat that transitions smoothly into a rant okay. after about thirty seconds, then I got two minutes to rant about something. And I can like Shane was even saying I didn't get a lot of laughs today, but I got a lot of head nods like people were listening. You know, like paying attention at least to what the fuck I was saying. It matters. Which is good at least, you know? Yeah. So it's like... That means like what you're saying actually is... It makes uh, sense in some way. Yeah. If people are at least able to follow it. I'm not just up there like ran- rambling or not connecting dots. And then she told me, she's like, oh, I called your name. I'm like... <laughs> no, she didn't. At the end. Oh, really? I feel like I was there till the end. 
like, I was gonna say you walked right out, and then I finished my beer and put it in the thing, and then she was like, "Hey, stick around," and I was like, "Okay, okay, okay." And then she went up there, and it was like 7.03. It was like right after you left. It was like 7.03. Yeah, that's a good fucking work. And and I was just sitting in the back, and she was like, all right, I'm going to put one more name, but for, uh, next, time. for next time. But before I do that, here's Brian Wellfield. And I was like, and I was in the back near the sound booth, and I was like, what? All right. <laughs> and then I went up. But I, I thought of this today, too, because last time I went up, confident uh, about my set and it was awful um, <laughs> I'm, I'm only like I just want to go up like very oh I'm gonna suck I'm gonna suck and then I do it therefore like I don't like anything will make me happy as opposed to nothing at all you gotta not think about whether you suck or whether you are good. Those aren't the words you're, you should be looking for. You should merely look to make a couple people laugh. Just try to be a little bit funny or have an original thought. Like, <coughs> I just have to work on this one. Um, That's what I'm saying. You, I'm like, you anyone. Because everyone's probably tried, not everyone, but like like most people have probably tried to go vegetarian, right? Mm. To like become vegetarian. Or I did it. I did vegan for a month. Okay, and then yeah, so so it's like still it's, can't find my left ball. It's <clears throat> okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, but you're just you're roasting yourself. Anyway, I want to be like. Yeah, I went vegetarian for a month. I mean, for I went vegetarian um, lasted three days. Uh, at one point, I just started blaming God for everything. Uh, like I like to say grace before I eat, but now when there's an animal involved in the food, I have to be like, dear Lord, not the singer. <laughs> it's your boy <laughs> Armin aka Lil Arm you can call me Lil Arm it's fine uh, I'm cool with it mm -hmm. but uh, thank you for this food and this animal that's died but in all honestly though I think this is sort of your fault that I have to eat this animal because I can't live without it I honestly can't live and that's not my fault you know <laughs> But I have to reword that area of the joke. Make it funnier and less wordy. Because then I could cross into like cleaning the beach and then the Little Mermaid thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's I the, feel like the Little Mermaid thing is a know, great man. fucking joke. Yeah, but like you. Here's the thing with that is that you're focusing on very specific words. And your gizmos and gadgets are plenty. Yeah, Think see, like that's bobs. fine. But like She's when got you're like twenty. But, but when you're up there and you're going, okay, see, if you could do it like that. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm aiming but for. But that's, that's what I'm the, saying is that part. that joke requires that like, like cadence and like rep repetition and like maybe you should practice. And for the and for those those that don't because, speak ocean, a thingamabob. It's a fork. It's a fork. We have millions in this one restaurant. So 20. Uh, she ha Or I could be like, she has more thingamabobs than I do at home. So. <laughs> Stupid. It's true. But if I do see a fork at the beach, I'm just going to throw it in the ocean. Because <laughs> that's where it belongs. Because I'm doing her a fucking favor. No. But when I do clean the beach, I do see some inter very interesting things. Tampon sign, for some reason. What, what's your... Uh, a big beach item. What's your... Like, hats, shoes. Uh, 
What's your favorite mindset to be in? <clears throat> what do you mean? Going throughout on? your day, I'm sure, and throughout your life, I'm sure you've had different mindsets at different points. Okay. Give me an example of a mindset. Um. Like, like when when do you look to doing something? Yeah, like when do you look back on you being the most capable person around, and like you feel flawless? When was the last time that happened? Like you make no mistakes. Everything you're just like perfect. everything's perfect. Like when was that? Never. What? You've had to have a, you've had to have a day that just went like smooth, or things like kept turning up. You found a hundred dollar bill. When was that? Oh, just a good day. Well, you know what I mean. When something seemed ab- ab- abnormally good. Honestly, start and started that way? No. It's not a Ice Cube song. I've never had the... It was... Today was a good okay. day. Okay. Okay. Maybe I should ask it a different way. Uh, when was the last time you felt accomplished? Accomplished? Um, that's a good word. Okay. That's a good... Okay. Uh, Oh my god. Well, no, I'm just saying. No, like, I know what you're. T- um, I know. What there's you're talking different about. ways people view it. Like I've talked to a lot of people, and people express that feeling a different way. And I'm trying to I figure out what the words I'm are. Sure, they're gonna... it's happened, but I honestly can't think of a time. Yeah. Okay, what was? What's the most fun you have talking to people? <laughs> At a family party. Oh, at, never. Uh, at, let's see. At a football game, at the high school fucking bleachers. Uh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> do you have any opinion about your life? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Um, Let's try to get you. Because there's a mindset that you that happens that you don't realize that you're doing it. But in reality, it's really only you doing it. It's just your perception of well, how the most of the recent world one I could think of that like I felt like oh shit that went really good, way better than I thought. Well, not I thought because I didn't know it was coming. Uh, <laughs> but uh, when I met Karen, that was the mm. that night was. That's why I, I got hung up on her because uh, how we met was just like it would be in a movie. Like it, everything just like I looked like an idiot, which obviously broke a lot of ice and a lot of uh, like I just I was just like oh shit what am I what's happening right now yeah but, um, that sort of went but I don't think perfect things are perfect no but like. When was the? <clears throat> or when I kicked a home run in kickball. Oh, <laughs> there like, we go. <laughs> see, see, there um, we go. Yeah, I got high fives everywhere. It was, it was amazing. Okay, you should tell that story. <clears throat> oh really? I'm being honest. Go up there with one of these jokes. That's a one-liner. That sort of precludes something that you want to talk about remember okay. theme and then that story you should go tell that story <coughs> and I see what you're don't saying. think too hard about it maybe go over the details of what happened in your brain but it, I guarantee you when you do it at some point there's going to be a conversation that someone said to you and you were like you were like hit him with a zinger or something like that and on stage or even now talking about it you'll remember it and it'll be you'll the way it'll come out because you won't be thinking and you'll just be ranting because that's the state of because the memory will induce that same the uh, brain wave pattern on stage okay. while you're doing it and then naturally you'll be funny and then but then it's you you don't have to worry about I need to be this or I need to be that and okay, then trying to be you know what I mean yeah 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 but why a good moment. 
What the fuck? I'm trying to help you. <laughs> no, I know, but why a good moment? I don't see anything funny in that. Uh, because I think for me to tell you to lean into your depression would be bad advice. I think. Okay, I'm, I think I, it might. I think. I think. I'm it, not, but those those uh, things are like I'm not gonna do the. Like I decided, I'm not gonna do the depression. Show. Oh no no no! I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like when given the option of what I'm trying to. I mean, I could tell you also. Oh, and go I would, in. I, I also would encourage you to remember a terrible moment and oh, then go oh, in, up oh, there and do that. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just I don't think you're ready for that. I don't think you. Okay. I because I don't want like, you to have a I moment that, on stage. I tell that story to everyone. No. Yeah. A bomb. T- like, or go in with that mindset of that day, like both. But I would encourage you to tell those types of stories. <clears throat> All right. Let's. Uh, we'll try that. Because that. you're naturally funny when you're not thinking about who you need to be. <laughs> because that then, is true. because then you just do whoever you think you're supposed to be, and you. I'm, but that's the character, though, because he's narcissistic. Right. But at the, in the moment, you don't realize that you're developing the character. You're creating it. You're not thinking about it and writing it down and giving him fucking age forty-one. You're not doing all that. You're, okay. you're just. I see what you're saying. At that point, you're actually creating. And the cool thing is that you can do tricks like that to like make your brain have spikes in different levels. Tell the story of how I hit a home run and hit ball. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember it, so... I mean, Basically, it's... home run was over the fence. <laughs> and it was a tall fence. <laughs> see what I mean? Did you see tall. what I mean? See what naturally comes out when you start thinking about shit? It was shit? a tall fence, and I got high fives. Rounding third. <laughs> I, pr- I plan it. I see him do it on. <laughs> that was the dopest fuck moment, and I will live with it for the rest of my life. I don't know if anything was funny in that, but I just want to just feel that again. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was 25 years ago. <laughs> no, that was 20 years ago. Yeah. That was 15 years ago. Okay. That was 10. That was 20 years ago. And... It was last uh, week, guys. (laughs) And and the anniversary is coming up. (laughs) And... (laughs) The next one's bound to happen. That's why I always wear shorts. So I'm kickball ready. It's so (laughs) stupid. Yeah, I I guess I could do that. See what I mean? See how much fun you're having, too? (laughs) And then if you hear some people laughing because you see how much fun you're having, and then you'll why. just you'll lean into it, and then I you'll wear. start, and then you'll be like, "Oh wait, I want to be funny," and then you'll start coming up, with, you'll say stupid shit. And that's why I wear basketball shorts underneath my jeans at all times in case a kickball, t- <laughs> unless a kickball game happens. No, I'm man. Ready, ready as fuck. No, I would actually play kickball in jeans <laughs> or khakis because that was the school made us wear. How about just like... I feel like jeans were like banned from school at one point. No. You never had that? No. I don't think so. Like you never... Okay. Because I guess I grew up in the... Like... Where people started... Like their gang clothes were invented for white people. (laughs) (laughs) What? What do you mean by that? (laughs) Not for white people, but like for non-black people. So basically it would be like if you wore baggy pants and uh, a tall tee. Yeah, a tall tee. Yeah, we had that. (laughs) A cap and like it's a white tee with nothing on it. Yep. Or like a black tee. With nothing on it. Pressed. <laughs> There's definitely pressed. Some people did silly shit like roll a sleeve or like they had, they had dumb shit, but it was always nothing on it. Big red, big blue, big and white, you, and, and baggy jeans. Where if like where you wear like Adidas shell toes, <laughs> Nike Cortez, <laughs> and you staple. The, or you know what was also big? The K Swiss at that point. <laughs> the all whites. <laughs> it's stupid. But uh <laughs> It was so funny. The all white K Swiss. It's so true. It's 
That's so true. All we had all that shit, yeah. And if you stapled your jeans to the bottom of your heel sole area, or like the heel, you know, the, the hard ass styrofoam, <laughs> <laughs> then, and oh only then, God. were you so a, cheap. a real OG. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my God. I sold candy in high school, I remember. <laughs> like for profit not for, <laughs> not for school I'd go to Smart and Vinyl buy ducats of candy <laughs> buy ducats of candy no joke growing up poor you gotta hustle and I was the smartest dude like I was, a, I was like um, cause at one point I'm like if these people selling chocolate bars are making bank <laughs> Are making bank for, <laughs> for like their school. I'm selling the shit people want. Like for me, <clears throat> Twizzlers, <laughs> quarter a twiz. <laughs> I, don't know quarter what they, twiz. I don't know what twizzes are, but they're <laughs> like the long, the, just the one twiz. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, one item of twiz. I don't know what they're called. Oh they're not God. bars. They're not like gusher. Gushers are just called gushers. Like there's no candy. It's just a gush. Like there's no. There's no other candy that's not of that. Gushers, fifty cents a gush. They got that gush. On the deck. We got that oh gush God. on deck. Gush. I'm definitely. That could be a catchphrase. Oh, it just sounds gross. You got that gush. <laughs> Gushing <laughs> on. No, on that sour like gush. <laughs> that sour gush. <clears throat> or my shit was, I would sell Warheads for sure. Warheads. Oh my god. They're a quarter a pop. And they're the Warheads. highest, highest selling a item. A quarter a pop. In high school. How much profit were you making? <laughs> a quarter a head. <laughs> No, there would be deals. <laughs> buy for buy for a dollar. <laughs> you get five for a dollar. There's deals. You can't. <laughs> you just... yeah. Yeah. I can't. It all started. I can't. <clears throat> these 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 rappers right now, they don't know, man. Fucking selling drugs, bro. At fifteen. <laughs> Sell some fucking candy. <laughs> That's my favorite about Bobby Shmurda. And the dude that does that song with the word in it that I can't say. Hot nigga. Dude, if I do that bit, that would be He's like, well, some in doses like the fifth grade. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh my god. Thank you. You enlightened me like crazy. What? Oh, that thought of kicking that. Uh, made me think of the um, clothes in high school. Like when, <laughs> what I have to say, yeah, when you know, white people started, <laughs> when white people started joining, gangs. <laughs> or like, you know, just dressing like, <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck, what I said earlier was way better. When white people. Figured hip hop. Bro. Like found out about hip hop. Bro, 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 bro. <clears throat> when white people found out about hip hop. I'm telling you, this is gonna be an easier idea. No, this is good. This is a, this is also like this is not a character, but I'm just speaking real. Facts of um, do you have my high school are, is, experience? How do you separate the lines from which characters they are? What do you mean? The jokes on okay. here. How do you separate them? Like which characters they are? I'll know by looking at them, and then I'll put that, like a circle for a certain person. And the little circle is. Real shit. 
triangle is a little arm, actually dollar sign is a little arm, and then, um, oh, I do stars for, key. <laughs> I do stars for, like, one-liner type of shit. Right. Okay. That for sure I do, because that's, like, my closer. Like, if I'm not doing well, I like to close on the coffin. But starting with it in a more positive note. Because I'm trying to, I'm going to get rid of the depression thing. Because honestly, it doesn't work well at an open mic. Or, I don't think it'll even work uh, work well with like a real audience. Because they don't want to hear that. They want to hear fun, happy shit. No, they can hear depression. It's just, they don't want to see it. (laughs) Or know about it. (laughs) They want to explain it in a funny way. Exactly. So, I'm just, I think it's awesome. But, that joint helped a lot with that fucking... Because that's like a Theo Vaughn type joke. It's very funny. Because I got a lot of... Fucking... A twiz. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Twiz is just a funny word. But there's oh. deals. There's deals. Five for a dollar. There's Five for a dollar. Still, bro. The, f- <laughs> the funny thing is you have to say it just like that because like especially for like you have no idea that people back home like the hustlers that do shit like that that sell candy it's <laughs> just uh, you, those can't be real prices man. You gotta be kidding me. You sold those for 25 cents. A twiz. A twiz. It's a good twist, though. It's a, <laughs> it's a good size twist for a quarter. It's a whole but there's full. deals. I'm telling you, the, the the deals is what it's about. People have money. <clears throat> and then Snickers. I would buy Snickers for seventy five cents. And I or would what? buy a uh, a cheese bean cheese burrito. And I had that extra fifty cents for that ranch. <laughs> extra ranch. So funny. <laughs> yeah, see, I just think you should go up there with that mindset, or just go up there and you, you tell the story. Just, yeah. just start telling the story, like randomly. I think you're right. I think that is what is the funniest because my mind has to just automatically. At the end of the day, all the all the professional comedians don't get up there and recite word for word. Not any of the good ones. I see what you're saying. They just go up there and talk. And they're not, and people listen to what they want to say because they make sense and are funny. And or are insulting. Or they agree with them. Or... Gang clothes. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to write gang clothes in high school. Whatever it is. <clears throat> and then I just have, like... When I think... At least when I... I don't mean... I don't know about you, but... At least when I think of the type of comedian that I would want to be... If I ever get to a 10-minute spot... How would I want to spend those 10 minutes? Would I want to spend it in a frantic... Recitation going from bit to bit to bit to bit to bit... To bit I feel like ten, it is... Having all 10 minutes planned and accounted for in my head... That's so much mental work. Whereas I'd rather develop the skills... Now, but you do have to tell the same story. Yeah, but I can. Uh, but but like the, the story is not you, the same way every time. But this is why I encourage you to do it this way. Is because your memories don't change. I mean, they do. We do remember things differently. But you tell that story. You've probably told that story or that joke to people before. Which one? About your high school or something, or no. at least you've thought it before. No. Either way, like I thought, like <laughs> I haven't, but I, I have, I didn't go like full. Yeah, but either way, either way, what I'm saying funny is, on it ever. I, but yeah, but what I'm saying is, when you do that, and you have the the, you're you're relying on a memory, yeah. right? You're always gonna have that memory for hopefully, cross your fingers, Alzheimer's, but <clears throat> you're gonna have that memory. Which means you're going to be able to tell that story 
pretty close to how you remember it. Yeah. You basically, you just need to get really good at telling that story. Yeah, just a base story. But that leads to. But, but because it's something that you'll always have. The more people enjoy listening to a story of yours, I'm sure you've noticed with either family members or someone, maybe like cousins or. Something. Yeah, but they're all like that. Like the longer they pay attention to you, things. and the longer they give you to expand, sometimes the funnier you get. You know, so. Well, those are like reminiscing type of stories, but I feel like that those are the fun. Ones. I mean, you asked me about an event that I can remember from my childhood. If I were like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yours. I could tell you a three minute version, a ten minute version, a twenty minute version. I can do that now. I don't need to think about it, right? Yeah. That's stand up. Is telling the story in how much time you have yeah because if you tell a story the wrong way they don't laugh or they don't get it that's true it's storytelling mm, yeah it's who can communicate and all you need to do is get up there and you can try and write jokes and time it and da 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 and Dimitri Martin's a genius and people like that hats off to him however I think that has to be somewhere on the spectrum of autism yes that's correct I'm not one of them <laughs> what I do have the capability of doing is I have a long memory I can remember details from my past for a while back. Yeah, okay. Likewise. Good. Which means, hopefully, I think this is why I think it's good advice for you. Is that going up there and trying to... Because this is what's going to happen if you do trying it. Trying to if do you keep, jokes. If you keep trying to do this, doing it this way, that like way. super structured for three minutes, yeah. when you get to ten, you're going to try and do it. And you're going to have ten minutes of frantic... Recitations in your mind, and you're and then it's not gonna be, like, be uh, natural. What can I do next? It's not gonna be natural. You're not gonna connect with the audience, and it, you might. People can do it. If you squeakers, they can do it. People squeak by. I see it all the time in the lab, but I'm not gonna say names because I don't remember them. But you can do it. But I think if you were to. What kind of comedian would you want to be? Would you want to be someone that could just, can just go up there and talk? And just kind of like, you know, fucking just have a conversation? Like, that seems more fun yeah. than frantically reciting or like so trying to remember a is... bit for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. But I can tell you, I can sit here right now if you were to ask me something about my, you know, past and I really wanted to tell you wanted an hour long story, I could do it. Yeah. I could give you an hour long story. But, the, with but the, I can put that much detail. But into the it. point is, uh, just remembering something and, uh, and saying fun. It, yeah, and be funny about it. yeah. But yeah. but but yeah. But you already make jokes about your past. You just did it. Well, yeah, me and because you were it just came naturally. Because it I, came naturally because you would remember it. Yes. Because and you'll be able to remember that always because that's always how it was to you. Yes. That memory's not going to change much. Maybe, yeah. you know, you might add in a couple of details for flavor. Yeah, like the gush and the twiz. The gush shit. and the twiz shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, but, <laughs> but you're gonna... But I'm telling you what, if I let you expand for another 10 minutes on that, you'll start throwing in more shit. Or maybe you'll recall a different memory. You know what I'm saying? And those you you already can talk about. Because you do it in your daily life. And <clears throat> if, you get com if we get comfortable in the lab, that's... It's good shit. Getting comfortable if you're comfortable going up in the lab. I and will you, crush the lab. And you have you have more than that, enough written. You, you have more than enough written. You don't <clears throat> need to. You you've proven you can write a joke. I think I did that too. I wanted to prove that I could write a joke, and like get up on stage, do it, <clears throat> and not. I don't know. I had a weird thing where I was like, I can't write. You know, I haven't written in forever. It's like, but. I made myself do it <clears throat> to prove that I could. But once I did it, I was like, okay, I can't do that. Dude, it's too I much think it's too much brain power to try and have everything memorized to a T. You know? It's like Okay, that is oh God, yes. Like I I see what you're saying, and that is absolutely true, because that's a whole lot easier for for me, and I'll feel like, Feels like, like it a, wasn't, it wasn't like a, what am I going to talk about, what am I going to talk about, yeah. like, whereas, like, oh, I can pick one subject of, because it's three minutes, it's not mm -hmm. fucking, 
And you just have to get over, uh, and I think the formula of hit him with a one-liner that you think is going to be a little funny. Hopefully it relates to something that you can transition it. If not, I think I'm going to stick to this format of I'll, whatever the one-liner is and then go, I don't know what's safe to talk about. I mean, I don't see why I would change it. It's it's picture perfect for a stand-up routine. You know, I don't need to, what's safe to talk about? And I'm like, oh, it's sports. I'm just going to lean into the LeBron thing for a while and then I'm going to change it to whatever's topical. Or whatever. If I have a, a closing one-liner that I got planned for next, when's the next one? Friday? Friday. So I'm going to change that. It's spread one works. So I don't need to. I can lean into that hard if I wanted. I just need to get a real audience to hear it. To see how hard I can lean in. <laughs> but <clears throat> I don't like doing if, once the joke works twice, I don't think I need to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to wear it out. Oh my god. If no one finds those stories funny, I'm giving, then what? giving up comedy. No. Especially the selling um, candy. That's It's going to be funny, dude. But the thing is, it'll be funny not because it's funny. It'll be funny because you're being funny. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> that's a lot easier for me to do. I know, but there's this thing that you do where you do panic. it naturally right here. Is it and then by, you actually filter your funny out of your, the things you say <laughs> <laughs> by putting it on that paper. Not, not putting on the paper necessarily. Just Writing it down is the, good. Just In fact, to remember the paper. I say do this because then you can throw it in there and you don't need to remember it anymore. Because then it's in there, and then one day you'll pull it out in two years, and you're going to go, oh my god, and then you're going to joke about that on stage, and you're going to be so much better in two years, but this story's not that good right now, and you... And it's going to get better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's going to get better. Uh, I'll say this one. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I like to put the heading of what it, whatever I think the topic that it most correlates to on the top, and then underline it, and then uh, write whatever the joke is. Some WMO is <laughs> stupid. Is it W? Uh, I can't fuck up that. No, that's funny. There's some WOMDs, bro. For fucking four dollars. <laughs> you, you, you gotta say that way different. You gotta say it like, uh, for, I used to sell Twizzes, 25 cents a pop. What's the other one? Twizzes, uh, Warheads. No, don't say Warheads. Say what hits third, but what's the okay. second one? Um, Twizzes. Was def- like in real life, it definitely was uh, candy, apple, like lollipop. <clears throat> okay, so you go. <clears throat> Twizzes, 25 cents a pop. Pops, 25 cents a pop. <laughs> and then you go. And then I had them WMDs. I don't know why we called them that. 9-11 was fucked up, but... <laughs> but just be like, uh, I don't know how else you work in WMDs to that. Other than it would have been topical at the time, because that's what people would have been saying on the news. No, I would, I would because say, of 9-11. <laughs> warheads are... Are they missiles? They're the... Warheads would be like the payload, I suppose. 
like in what's the definition of warhead? Like the warhead would be the position on the, the on the, where the payload, where the actual like bomb is. Yeah, where the where explosive it material where it's gonna start. Okay, so then that would be like like yeah, so warheads too. Four f uh four for a dollar no, five for a dollar, where you could get twenty for four dollars. <laughs> but it's the same. <laughs> but then you would have some W O M W what is it? W, -W, -M -W M D is that W it's not a o. The of they don't count the of? No. Okay, so W M D's bro. You should say W O M D's though. With you should four. definitely say No, because I'm not gonna remember W O M D. No, you will because you keep fucking it up now. <laughs> w M D's bro. Not even say bro. Ugh. I have more fun when I just go up not thinking about it. Exactly. So and this is what I've been doing. Is I've been forcing myself before I go up and sweat. To not think about anything? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, rem I, I have a little like checklist of things that I want to try to accomplish on stage. Because I already know what I want to talk about the past two times. Since I'm leaning into this LeBron thing. So you want to... Okay. I want to get up there, do the one-liner, rant one-liner off with the same transitions don't know what's safe to talk about what seems safe oh sports despite colin kaepernick etc etc you know try different stuff but essentially i just want to be talking and then <clears throat> i forget what was the thing the lebron thing kaepernick Oh yeah, I remember the captain day. But yeah, uh, just maybe change it up, but essentially... Very sports. Well, just but just very structured. It's three minutes every single time. I can keep doing the same routine over and over again and develop uh, storytelling skills on stage. Yeah. And just change the story. It won't be LeBron every time, but once a week probably. <laughs> you know, I got tons of jokes for it. The Ray Allen one kind of worked. I got a, two or three of them going, ha! Ah, you know. Did he get the women though? But yeah, you do have good punchlines on your jokes, so I, I wish I saw it. But the Dragon Ball Z one worked though. I'm so That's happy. Good. I like That's that. I like that. I I laughed at that when you said it and the the buff the buff leg one didn't work that well. The buff leg no, it worked just as well, but okay. I didn't give it as much time to breathe because I. Was you should use do that as your closer. Uh, okay, for it's real so audience, random. I'm, I'm not gonna use that one much more. It's so okay. I mean, I might do it on Friday because that's once per mic, and then I <laughs> might not funny. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save for you if you're there. It's uh, it's uh, But I got other one-liners. Funny words. I got other one-liners that I want to do and <sighs> I think uh, <clears throat> it's, the formula is so repetitive that's what I'm saying so it's so easy to duplicate that <clears throat> and it gives me the freedom to kind of like play with it upstairs or on stage I kind of like get comfortable I'm not there yet but you know a year less maybe I like to be optimistic. I was thinking to myself today when I was getting so much shit done because I'm a fucking boss. <laughs> but, uh, I did get a lot done. But, uh, on one of my, like, trips in and out, I was like, I always told myself that I could do anything. Like, whatever I, whatever I wanted to do, I could do. Right? If I just tried. And then I was like, how did I end up trying at stand-up comedy? Because, like, I didn't ever really think I would ever be doing that. You know? But now that I'm doing it, it's kind of like, uh-oh. What happens if I get good? And that's optimistic, but... It's like... I always say I'm going to be 
good at whatever I try, and now I'm trying at this, and I never meant to, but now that I'm doing it, it's like, uh, I don't know, it seems fun, you know? It's a challenge. Yeah, and like, that's what I'm saying, like, like, instances where like the last time the Dragon Ball Z thing didn't work, but then I go up today, and I change the delivery just a little bit, and it got a, a, a pretty much room full of laughs, not everyone. But enough of them that it, I can consider that like, hey, that that was an improvement, you know? Like that feels like an accomplishment, and like that, I don't know. That just seems like a teach, a learnable moment, or a teaching moment, or whatever. But also like scary because then it's like, uh oh, now that I know how to fix shit, how good can we get? In a year, two years, three years. I mean, you're just doing this shit, bouncing, I help a lot. bouncing ideas. I think you enlightened me to make it so much easier on myself. Because you're, I think you're absolutely right with that. You just talk about shit you know and make it funny. Just like you would normally do when you, like, let's say, exactly. if you were to go have, a, if you were having a barbecue with a bunch of family members and your cousins are fucking being like, what'd you do? And you were like, see, you I never had that, on, on, like, unless, like, I'm, like, I've, with, I've known these, like, uh, my close friends for, like, 20, 20 something years. There you go. That, like that. But when I do that, when, when I'm with them, it's just, well, one, I'm always like, I don't know why I have the most attention on me because I'll, I'll say some stupid shit but at the same time most of everything is like reminiscing like that's all they see, do that's and the I most get sad. fucking ad- annoyed see that's it. the most sad thing what? because what it really is is those are, those were your friends and at one point you guys stopped acting like friends and instead yeah, it's just reminiscing of back when it used to be fun. But back when it used to be fun, that's when you were just trying to be funny and trying to crack a joke. Or da, da, da. You weren't thinking about that shit. And I know that seems like silly, like, yeah, just, you know, yeah, ch- a childlike like, mentality. Dude, let's have but, fun now. But you, if you've ever noticed that comedians kind of, they all, the one thing they have in common is like the air that, like, they have no responsibility. Like, they get to... Like, they have no responsibility for their words. Well, they do, but... Like, they have no responsibility for restraining their words. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's not on me. Like, I, like you know what I'm saying? Like, they all have that quality of it's, like... Just kind of transcending... Like, ownership of their idea. When they're on stage sharing it with people. You know? And... Uh... Again, I forget. I always get trailed away. But <clears throat> I feel like when you're just kind of talking naturally, just like you would around uh, you know whoever you're the most comfortable with, your friends. That's when you're the funniest, every single time. And if you can just duplicate that, yeah, and you can do tricks, you know, tricks like that. Yeah, but what I hate that they also do. It's like, because I'm so happy we don't really have inside jokes. I hate inside jokes. <laughs> they have so I'm like, okay. it's funny, but that's only because I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Let's see. That's the best thing. I just watched the movie Tag. Oh, uh, is that good? Yeah, and it, but it's about these With like... Sebastian in it? Who? Sebastian Monsalco, whatever. Who the Supposedly fuck is in it. who the fuck is that? The comedian? No, but you haven't you don't know this guy? No. Okay, put on thing right now. <laughs> put on his fucking thing uh, right now. I it's, it's not even long either. Um on Netflix. <clears throat> Go to um Sebastian. Yeah, uh, aren't you embarrassed? Yeah, that one. You haven't seen this oh, guy? 
Yeah, I've seen. Okay. You've seen this? Yeah. Okay, then never mind. Wait, he, he wasn't in the movie? Uh, Tag? Yeah. Uh, he was. He was the priest, I believe. Okay. Big part or no? No. Mm-hmm. But a funny part. He was fucking rambling about how he used to be a coke addict and fucking all this shit. It was a good movie. It was funny. Uh, Tag had Jeremy Renner and Ed Helms and Hannibal Burris and is it Josh or John Hamm? John Hamm. John Hamm. All played like the leading roles. And then that dude that I don't even remember his name. But he's always in the like the silly like crazy hard R comedies. He's always in them. He plays like the weed like dope hilarious and they did some jokes that you're like oh fuck they did some there's a miscarriage joke it's crazy it's It's just all dudes uh some girls Rashida Jones um Uh, who's the girl that plays the crazy girl from Wedding Crashers? What's her name? Oh, the redhead? Yeah. I don't know, but she's the wife of Borat. Yeah, I know. Isla, <laughs> uh, Isla Fisher. Okay. Uh, or is it Isla? Whatever. I just know exactly who you're talking about. Anyway, she's hot and, uh... She is the wife of Boy. Ed Helms in the movie. Oh, in the movie. Yeah, Ed Helms' character. And then there's a blonde chick that I do not remember the name that plays the Wall Street Journal lady that wrote the article about the story that it's based on. And then... Who else? Wall Street Journal lady? Who else? So it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Hilarious, and uh, it might make you feel something at the end, <laughs> uh, which is weird for a, for a rated R comedy. Oh, oh, perfect. Rated R comedy is the only way to go. Yeah, like I said, they get dark on some of their shit, like dark as oh, Hannibal Buress is hilarious. He's like, just kind of like walking through the movie real high, saying real dumb shit. Alright, cool, we got Netflix back. What, what? Lost Hulu, though. Uh. Is it, what did you watch on Hulu? Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh. The YouTube TV doesn't have that. Uh, I think it does, because Fox. <laughs> And if I just record it, I'll have it. Oh, you can record. Oh yeah, this thing's got like a DVR for like 128 gigabytes. Oh my or god. Something. Okay. Oh, why? So you can record your wrestling? Oh my god, that did you know? <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> do not, dude. You have to keep that shit. No more than three weeks of episodes. <laughs> Oh, I deleted my movie. Oh, okay. I'm so just it's playing. Be like, it's a good, like, sleep and watch it. I don't care. You can record all of it. I don't really use the DVR except when I say a good movie that comes on. Fucking record that shit. No, I'm deleting your recording and that not guys. <laughs> <laughs> you record over my Avengers Age of Ultron? <laughs> For money in the bank? <laughs> It better be at least Super Slam. Summer Slam. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You're working on participating in this charade. 
<laughs> and to Brooklyn now every year instead of California where it should be because it makes more sense. I hope that we get stupid, dumb, viral, famous from doing some little arm shit. And we have a chance to go on SummerSlam. So I can talk shit to the very people <laughs> that I hate so much. I'm yeah, just I mean, kidding. I don't do, hate those you people. You can do one episode where like, I show you and then you actually fall in love with the rest of it. That could be a good one. <laughs> Like, oh my god, they're not dead? No, man. Oh. Why? Well, I, I wouldn't <clears throat> think they're dead. Because they're I know it's fake. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's not the reason why people watch. People watch for the story plots to unfold, okay? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. You watch, ev- every everything you watch is a story plot unfolding every anything you I know I, that's why for you to like, cop out and use that's so what dumb. right that, like, okay, it well, is dumb that's what like I said you watch on TV is dumb because it's the same look at me in the eye <laughs> and tell me watching the stories played out in Game of Thrones are in any way I don't watch Game of Thrones so Westworld okay in Westworld are in any yeah. way comparable to the thoughts that you have while you're watching a WWE plotline <laughs> unfold, okay? You <laughs> do not even get in my fucking wheelhouse okay, with that shit. Okay, you're right, you're right, because there's no magic. <laughs> <laughs> they took that out to be more real, okay? So, no one does magic anymore. <laughs> you can't just do magic. Actually, oh, Bray Wyatt does, sort of. And Undertaker, he just appear and reappear as he pleases you you still this is what I don't get <laughs> Santa Claus no the Undertaker is is what who's the Undertaker tell me who he is Undertaker is the dead man he's uh you say it to my face what he is what is he I don't, I don't know the story of the Undertaker. The story of him? Mm-hmm. He is a dead man from Death Valley, California. Even though he's not really from Death Valley, California, because that would be insane. Um, and basically, he's just a monster. Of, he just beats everyone. And so who, who, who is he? What's his name? What do you mean, what's his name? What's his real name? I don't fucking know. He became the American badass at one point and rode a motorcycle. But people want to forget that. Like me. Okay? <laughs> he's, he's just way better as the Undertaker. So where does the Undertaker live? In a mansion somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? So you know he's not really an undertaker or like some he's not a dead man. You know like you know he's no, not he's a alive human being with a family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh and like God. a mortgage. A mortgage. And shit. So how do you go in there and then be like, Oh, the Undertaker's about to Okay, so if you see uh, Chris Helms on the streets, are you gonna be like, Oh my god, it's Thor? No, you're not. Chris Helms? <laughs> what? I don't know his name. Chris Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth. Um, you said Ed Helms earlier. They probably got Chris Hemsworth on the streets. You're going to be like, oh my god, it's Thor. No, you're not. Absolutely, I would. Thunder. No. I'd be like, be like, oh my god, it's Thor. Yeah, but so if I see Undertaker on the streets, I, that's exactly what I'm going to say too. But am I, are you going to believe he's Thor? <laughs> believe he's the god of thunder? Or right, so what is the Undertaker's name? I don't know his name. Why? <laughs> his real name? Why? Why don't you know his name? Because I just know him as the Undertaker. Uh, this is my problem. But there's... This is my problem. It's because you will cast aside Santa Claus, but you will <laughs> believe in something such as the Undertaker. As, <laughs> <laughs> which is a... De- you, you say... You believe, and you just told me, lives in Death Valley, California, and he's a dead man. <laughs> and he is coming this Sunday for you. <laughs> No, no, this is what I don't get. You cast aside. Please tell me this is being recorded. You cast aside Santa Claus, 
but then you believe in this fabricated nonsense. Even though deep down, I just got you to admit, yeah, no, he probably lives in a mansion here in Hollywood, California, and has a mortgage and a family. And I played tennis, tennis with him last week. I think he's a Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is a Florida man. That, that's the American freedom shit. What is it? Uh, oh, American Badass? American Badass. That's who he became one day? Yeah, he changed Don't tell character. me about who, when people become things. <laughs> yeah, but you won't You, you better be Japanese. You better be Japanese and in an anime, because otherwise yeah, it doesn't I'm work. Not, I'm not gonna, if I see him on the street, I'm never gonna say, oh my god, it's the American Badass. No. No, you're gonna say it's the Undertaker. It's the Undertaker. But you still can't tell me his fucking name. But I know Chris it's, Hemsworth. His name is probably Chris. This is also. why. This is why your point doesn't matter. Is because I wouldn't go at that store. I would say at that store to get you to look, and then after that, I'd be like, "That's cool that Chris Hemsworth comes here," because I know he's Chris Hemsworth. Now, what is the Undertaker's name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, his name is oh god, Mark William Calloway. Okay, he's not. A, he's not a dead man. He has a family. <laughs> With uh, daughters of that? I know, but why didn't you know that? Why do you believe in the theatrical thing? Like, why do you choose to do that? That's oh, shit. Good. He actually has had three wives, and he's... Was, is from Houston. Why don't you know any of that? Because I googled him. No, but you, why don't you Oh my know? god, I don't want to know John Cena's... His name is John Cena, but... The names in between are interesting. You say you watch those storylines, but you don't even know this man's life. Ooh, thank God, Brock Lesnar. Oh, God, Brock Edward Lesnar. But he looks like a Brock. You know what I mean? Like, someone... <laughs> if someone... <laughs> it's like, hey, what's your name, Brock? Uh, Makes sense. <laughs> but, oh, where's kinda, your... Uh, Could have guessed that your chin one. stop in your next start? <laughs> <laughs> but Brock Lesnar, what is he? He's a UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Is he a champion? I don't know. No, he's not a champion. But uh, he is suspended, I think, for PEDs right now. Oh, and that's shit. why he's doing the WWE shit. But he's got to come back at some point, I think, unless he's done with the concussion shit. Which, in all fairness, good on him. Like his no. Chuck Liddell stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, God. That was... So if you see Chuck Liddell, are you gonna be like, Chuck, I just wanna ask you, are you retarded right now? Because that's what I wanna ask him. Okay, but and he'll probably that's say not the no, point but his face I'm... will say yes. <laughs> yeah, see, maybe you, you wanna get out with a couple brain cells left, for sure. Whereas, for example, The Undertaker, living a normal life, yeah, but the po my point is, you didn't know year. his name. I know Chris, I know Thor's name. It's Chris Hemsworth. If I could recognize him on the street, and then I would go, oh, that's weird, he's here. Or that's cool, he's here. If you were to walk in the improv, I wouldn't go, yeah, that's Thor. You're right. But you go, that's the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you know his name? Like, that's the problem I have with him. I won't, I won't be like, hey, Mark. <laughs> Yeah, but I would though if I were to, if I were to, in, a, in, a, in a world. Hey, are you Mark or in, Galloway? In in a world where I needed to go. No one's called me that. <sighs> no one's ever. That's why I want to say. No one's ever called me. That. <laughs> you know, I am funny. the Undertaker. Okay, imagine he comes into the improv and you go. <laughs> Oh god. And you go, I have to write this. Oh would, god. Would you go would you go would you go up to him and you would say, Hey man, or hey Undertaker, I'm a big fan. Or would you go, Hey Mark, big fan, just wanted to say that, you know, always been <laughs> always wanted to meet you, blah blah blah. But no, see, because of your silliness and your willingness to believe in Santa Claus, you would go up to him and be like, Yo, Undertaker <laughs> <What's> up, Undertaker <laughs> What's up, Undertaker? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you think the rage in a cage is going to pose any particular problem this year? Like, what Hell the fuck? Hell in a cell. Oh my god. You're so off. Like, you're somewhat off every time. <laughs> Hell in a cell. Rage in a cage sounds a fucking like a concept. <laughs> 
and raging in cage actually sounds like a very dope <laughs> like it's, it's just like a jail cell where they put a bunch of people in and gave them all <laughs> oh just raging in cage oh god okay fuck that seeing the undertaker on the street oh it comes into the improv <laughs> I just don't get it. Why do you choose to believe in it when you don't believe in other <laughs> silly shit? <laughs> What's his real name? Like, again, that's so funny. <laughs> Mark? Mark? <laughs> oh, Mark, hi, Mark. Mark William Galloway. <laughs> Mark William Galloway. <laughs> and like, oh, hi, you, Mark. You, you, could have, you, could, you couldn't pick a worse name for someone named The Undertaker. Mark William Calloway. Like, you're just white, huh? Oh, God. American badass? Ooh. You like to forget that, huh? Uh, I'm, used, I'm doing that definitely as a nice open mic for sure. Okay, like, but I'm gonna ask to go up right after you and I'm just gonna rip you apart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because at that point I'll be like heated enough to be like, what the fuck? Actually, you know what's funny? What if that plays? You I, go up. I just wanna start off by saying, uh, like, uh, go up and then just be like, <laughs> if, if, uh, if y'all saw. <laughs> I can't even hold it. I'm like, if y'all saw the Undertaker in the streets, would you A? <laughs> no, not even that way. No, there's a way. We just said it in a funny way. I'm just gonna use that. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, hey, oh. <laughs> Are you Mark William Galloway? <laughs> no one's called me that in <laughs> years. In years. <laughs> How do you know me? Are you serving me court papers? <laughs> like he would run away because he, he would be thinking you're like serving him divorce papers or something. Motherfucker. I'm the Undertaker. I'm the, no, I'm the Undertaker, bro. All my friends call me the Only, only judges and... I just don't see how you don't find it worrying. I don't find it what? You don't find it worrying that there's a part of your life that you happily admit to someone that you just know them <laughs> as the Undertaker from the fucking Death Valley. He's a dead man. He's a dead man. And he's coming for you this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Fucking monster <laughs> Oh, that's so good. It's so stupid. I fucking hate it. I hate it. Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. But, like, grown men, like, go to Buffalo Wild Wings and fucking rage <laughs> when that shit's on. Oh gosh, there it is. It's all over. We did it. We made it to the end. How you feel? It's a, this guy's a one take wonder, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to do a second take. We get it right on the first try, no matter what. Alright. Uh, Cash Funny Gang, Drip Set, SkirtSkirt.com. <laughs> Go to skirtskirt.com For more shit Don't ask me how to spell skirt skirt Cause you ain't rich enough <laughs> Cause you what we ain't know <laughs> oh. oh god Alright we have to go to work Let's uh Peace out Thanks for listening guys